In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam carrying a uniformly distributed load over its entire span. So before watching the tutorial, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Now let's start with our today's topic. Consider a cantilever beam of span L fixed at end A and free at end B carrying a UDL of uh, W per unit length over its entire span. Now let's consider a section XX at a distance of X from the free end B and consider the right portion of this section. The shear force at this section will be equal to the resultant of forces acting on right or left portion of this assumed section as per definition of shear force according to which the shear force at a section is equal to resultant of forces either to the right or to the left of that section. But the resultant force acting on right portion of this section xx is w into length of this right portion which is equal to wx acting uh, downward and since this wx lies in right portion of this section xx it will be considered positive as per sign conventions of shear force. Hence the shear force at this section xx is positive. Let fx be the shear force at this section xx, fx will be equal to plus wx and let's mark this as equation 1, which clearly indicates that equation first follows the straight line rule, which means the shear force diagram for this span will be a straight line. Now at point b the value of x will be equal to 0, so shear force will be equal to w into 0 equal to 0. And at point B, X will be equal to L. So on substituting X equal to L in equation first, we will get shear force equal to plus WL at point A. In order to draw the shear force diagram, we will start from drawing the baseline AB. Since shear force at point B is 0, so we will mark this point as 0. And at point A, the shear force is plus WL. So we will draw plus WL to some scale and we will join these two points this will be our resulting diagram for a clear view the shear force diagram will look like this and since we got uh, the positive shear force so sfd will be drawn above the baseline now let mx be the bending moment at uh, the section xx the bending moment will be negative as the moment due to this uh, load wx will be clockwise for right portion of this section xx as per the sign conventions of bending moment and also the beam will bend in a manner that the convexity will be at the top of the beam. It should be noted that the UDL of a section is converted into a point load acting at the center of gravity of this section. The bending moment at uh, section xx will be given by mx equal to minus times total load on right portion into distance of center of gravity of right portion from x. So mx will be equal to minus times w into x into centroid of this uh, loading which is acting on right portion of this section xx which is equal to x by 2 and we will get a value of minus times wx square divided by 2 and let's mark this as equation 2. Hence from equation 2 it is clearly evident that the bending moment at a section is proportional to the square of the distance of the section from pre end which follows a parabolic law. And since this relates to parabolic equation which clearly indicates that the bending moment diagram for this section carrying UDL will be a parabolic curve. Now at point B the value of X is uh, equal to 0 so bending moment at B will be 0. And at point A X will be equal to L so substituting L in equation 2 we will get bending moment at A equal to minus times WL square divided by 2. In order to draw the bending moment diagram, let's start from drawing the baseline AB. And since uh, at point B the bending moment is 0, so we will mark this point as 0. And at point A the value of bending moment is minus WL square divided by 2. So we will uh, draw minus times WL square divided by 2 to some scale, but below the baseline since the bending moment is negative. And we will join these two points with a parabolic curve but with a negative slope and this will be our resulting bending moment diagram. For a clear view the bending moment diagram will look like this. This will be the baseline AB and the diagram is drawn below the baseline since the bending moment is negative 
and this will be the parabolic curve but with a negative slope as indicated by equation second so this was all for today for much more informative and interesting content subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future you can also follow me on instagram and facebook with the links given in description we'll catch you up soon thank you